morning. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Tuesday. Um, we are at Starbucks now, and then we're headed out to Orland Park today, as you guys know. We're going to Trader Joe's first, probably, and then we might have lunch. I don't know. We might actually go get some wings at B-Dubs. Um, I can just have like the naked wings or whatever or the buffalo wings so we might do that or I don't know I don't know if we're gonna go to that salad place we're not really sure we're not gonna really like schedule the day around that but Trader Joe's is the main point that we're going to we might go to Mariano's and I'm hoping to go to Lush too to get some uh, like skincare stuff I'd like to get another bath bomb so yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna be doing. Then we're also going to the Italian store after that in Tinley Park and maybe to the big old Target there. I love their Target. Like they have the best Target. I wish our Target was like that here. But yeah, that's what's going on here. We're just, we got another late start today. We typically get a late start when we're off together. You know, we don't really even get up till like 10 o'clock or something, but I think that's what it was today about, about 10 o'clock, a little bit before my dad called me. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. It's a little bit gloomy today, but I'm hoping the sun comes out soon. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about the shirts. I have my This Is My Year shirt on today. Okay, so we had a couple of questions about it. The unisex t-shirts are 100% cotton. The tanks, hoodies, and crewnecks are polyester and cotton. They're 50% polyester, 50% percent cotton in the crew neck and the hoodie and then it's like 90 percent polyester 10 percent cotton or something around there in the tanks so i just wanted to let you guys know that i guess it doesn't specify on the website but i've had a couple people asking on facebook so i just looked it up myself on the gildan website and the bella canvas website so yeah uh Basically, I would say that the unisex shirts are just normal, like your normal standard t-shirt that you could get anywhere. And then with the women's tees, you just need to be a little bit more careful because, like I've said, I personally would size up, mostly because of my boobs. <laughs> um, but some people might not have to. There is a size chart on there, though, that you could easily, easily like do a measurement and check that way. But with unisex, it's all good. They're pretty standard. First stop is Mariano's, but Alex is just going in because he's gonna grab some fresh squeezed orange juice. It is so good here. I decided to just stay in the car because I have to make an Instagram post really quick. Uh, and I'm also gonna post about the peach palette on Instagram as well. So, uh, cause you know, today's the last day. But yeah, he's just getting some orange juice. Their orange juice here is the bomb you guys like it's so good i don't know if i think mariano's is just kind of like a midwest thing i could be wrong or even just a chicagoland thing i might be wrong on that but um if you have one by you go try their orange juice like a lot of times we go in there especially during the day they will be fresh squeezing it right then and you can like get one right off of the squeezer it's pretty awesome so we decided to eat at this place called mod pizza where you can build your own pizza and salad so I'm gonna be getting a bunch of veggies in my salad. He'll probably get his little pesto pizza and we'll be good to go. Look at these tables, I love them. So my salad's made, Alex is making his pizza now and he's just gonna grab it and bring it over but this place is super cute. I like it a lot and the salad looks so good. I got vinegar and oil mixed in it so it's a really, really cute place. Look at this, look at this collage up here. It'll focus, there we go. So cool, here it is and then look at this bowl. I love this bowl, we need this bowl for our house. He's waiting on his pizza right now. So one of the topping options was roasted cauliflower. So I got it in the salad, it's pretty good, pretty good. Alex, like how's the cauliflower? Did you get some on your pizza? No. What'd you get? He got, he's getting pesto on the top. I'll show you guys when he finally gets it. Here's his pizza. What's on it, pineapple? Roasted red peppers, mm -hmm. pepperoni, bacon, Pesto sauce, mozzarella, parmesan. What's on the, do you have red sauce on the bottom or? Nope, pesto on the bottom and Ooh. oh, pesto, olive oil, and garlic spread. Wow, it looks really good. Made 
made it and it seems pretty busy in there so hopefully we can get through there easily this stuff is really good guys it is not whole 30 but it's really good it's like low carb low calorie let's look it is 120 calories for the whole thing and four carbs for the whole thing it's really good i think they have a spicy one at some places too am i the only one that likes sauerkraut i love sauerkraut alex hates it though i just think it's so good any of my low carb friends they have these oven baked cheese bites right here this is what they look like and they are less than one carb for half the bag so if you had one it would be like one carb if you had the whole bag and then right next to it is the chomps so just so you guys know if you're low carbon there you go 249 a bag alex went into his favorite place barnes and noble he just wanted to look for something really quickly and now after this we're gonna go to rubino's and probably like i said to that target there which is one of my favorite targets but it is always crazy crazy busy but they always have like everything i need my phone's about to fall oops uh they almost have everything i need almost every time here he comes yay did you get what you needed no you didn't get anything you just looked I didn't have one. what were you looking for the book of joy oh i thought you already had it you do already have it no i read it from the library oh i gotcha you can order it on amazon no. who else loves ed sheeran no. me <laughs> Let's please just look at this loaf of bread. Extra long French bread. It is so big. This one too. That's ridiculous. It smells good though. Here's their menu. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a lot of what they have. If you're in this area and you want to try it out, you can kind of see prices and everything. How cool are these? Crazy. That one would be me for sure. We are home now and I just got done finishing editing and uploading my video that just went up and um I just posted about the shirts and stuff, so I'm super excited. I'm so glad everybody's loving them so far. It's just an awesome design. He did a good job. You did a good job, babe. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm going to watch My Big Fat Fabulous Life now because This Is Us isn't new tonight. It's a rerun, which is sad. I guess it's not new until next week, but I guess I'll have to wait till next week. And then I'll probably be watching Shameless tonight. What are you going to watch? Are you going to play your game? Oh, yeah. He's playing Stardew Valley still with all of his crazy characters. One of his characters' name is what? Pam? Pam is the parsnips. And the parsnips. She likes parsnips. Who else? What are the other names? Oh, there's Mayor Lewis. There's Caroline, Leah, Abigail. And you didn't come up with these names? They came up with them for you? Oh, yeah. He's crazy. Yeah. Hope you guys can hear that. That would be weird if you couldn't. But yeah, so I'm gonna go watch my big fat fabulous life now. Does your tired little booty wanna go watch Whitney? You wanna go watch Whitney with me? Are you just gonna be lazy? Wanna come with me or not? What are you doing? You look crazy right now. Nolly. Are you tired? You just so tired you haven't done anything today. Look at her ears. <laughs> so my big fat fab life was pretty good tonight. Uh, hold on, gotta get ice. Uh, it was pretty good tonight. If you guys are watching and you haven't watched it yet, then just skip like 30 seconds ahead. But I, I'm just wondering if she's pregnant or not because all of her recent videos and pictures and stuff doesn't really seem like she is, so I hope everything's okay. Like, I hope it wasn't, I don't know. I'm just sad. You know, I'm sad for her because I know she struggles with PCOS and who knows. So I guess we'll see. I think she said we'll see in the next couple of weeks what happens and what goes on and everything. So, but I wish the best for her and for Lenny. I like Lenny. I know there's like mixed reviews about him, but I like him. I forgot to show you guys this orange juice earlier, but this is what it is. This is what it looks like. 
so good. Do you want some right now, babe? Okay. It's really, really good. I mean, we haven't opened this one yet, but it never fails us. Here's Nala laying again. What are you doing in that spot? Oh, now you get up? Now you get up? Wait, so you're not playing Stardew Valley? Uh-oh. What is this? I just stopped. This is Overwatch. Oh. You've been playing Stardew Valley, like, only. And now it's time to switch it up. I don't like games like this with the shooting and stuff. So I'm wanting to do something, like, DIY. My aunt was doing some crafts tonight with her cousin, like, on the other side of the family, and... I loved it. So now I feel like I want to be crafty. What should I do, babe? Oh. Should I paint? Well, yeah, you have the canvas. I know, I do have two canvases over there. I just want to be crafty. Maybe I'll look for some things on Pinterest to do. Because I need to uh, decorate that mantle again for, like, spring and summer. Because I have all my fall stuff, and I have all my winter stuff, but I really never had anything for spring and summer. So, maybe something like floral. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just make everything for over there. We'll see. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm organizing some makeup right now. Yes, Nala is still laying in her bed. But I was just thinking that the palette actually, it ends tonight, but when you guys are watching it, it will have already ended. Does that make sense, the giveaway? Because today is the 31st, but you guys will be seeing this on the 1st. So, but yeah, I'm just so excited to give this away. It just smells so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't, I'm gonna pack, I was gonna leave it in the Too Faced box, but I think I'm actually gonna package it up in a different box because I don't wanna rip that label off as it was sent to me, you know what I mean? So, I'll probably put it in like a cute box or a cute bag or something like that. I do have some big pink envelopes that I love. Maybe I'll put it in there, it's like padded. I decided to now do some stretching that I'm going to do on this work it out. Uh, let's see, full body stretch. Let's do back strengthening. And then I'm just gonna begin workout. I'm gonna do 15 minutes. And just stretch down here on the ground. <laughs> So that was actually really good. I'm actually sweating a little bit. I didn't think that I would, but it was really good. It said that I burned 152 calories, but whatever. Uh, Nala left me now. <laughs> she wasn't feeling it. But I just posted something before I started this about, I guess I've just been thinking about this a lot, but like, I just feel like there's so many people in the world that just can't be happy for other people. You know, like you see somebody succeed or you see somebody get a promotion or whatever and then it's like you just are upset that it wasn't you. Like you can't be happy for them. Like you're upset that it wasn't you or you're jealous that it wasn't you. And like, I don't know, I think, I'm, I'm not even kidding when I say this, I think because I grew up so incredibly overweight and I just never could like look at somebody and be like, oh, I need to look like them or I should look like them. Like I just never had that comparison thing because I really never could. I just have never like been that way, you know? Like I've always, I'm so happy when my friends, when something happens that's awesome for my friends or my family or anybody, you know? Uh, and so it just, it it's hard for me to understand. Trust me, I'm, I've been trying to, understand it more you know as I get older because you just encounter it a lot and I'm just like you know I just feel like the world would be a better and happier place if we could root for one another you know rather than root against each other like I just I don't know I just don't get it I'm really trying hard to grasp it and I think it has something to do with you know unhappiness or just being like unsatisfied in your own life and so you just can't let other people be successful but I think the way that everybody can be successful is truly rooting for one another and being for one another. And if you're down, somebody lifts you up. And when they're down, you lift them up, you know? I just, I, 
I don't know, I've just kind of always thought that way. I know everybody here, like I feel like so many people here, you guys are just like my spirit animals, you know? Like we just get it, like we click, like we just get it because we can root for one another. I mean, I see you guys rooting for me every day and rooting for people, you know, that are here with us every day and I just appreciate that, you know? Like I have to surround myself with people like that because when it, when it gets to be like the negative energy and stuff, I just get, I get in a bad place. So I was just thinking about it and I just think that there's so many people that need to learn that and need to hear that and need to just try every day to try to find something good about others, you know? Cause this world can be dark and scary. It really can, I mean, especially right now with everything going on, but I truly believe we can still find the good if we look for it. You know, you might have to search hard for it, but we can still find the good in others and in ourselves and in our surroundings here and in the greater surroundings. So I don't know, that's just my, like, that's just what I've been thinking about a lot today, especially because I've seen some things and heard some things from friends and I'm just like, I don't get that, you know? It breaks my heart, it breaks my heart. I promise I'm not trying to make this a lecture. I'm just, you know, a lecture. <laughs> I'm just putting this on camera uh, because I wanna remember this too, you know? I, I think that it's just a really important thing for so many of us to keep in mind as we go through life, like lift each other up because that is what makes the world a better place. It just does. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here tonight from the ground. <laughs> uh, but I know this is getting pretty long. I, I, I edited a little bit of this already, so I know it's getting pretty long for today, but I love you guys so much. I'm wishing all of you guys the very best with this peach palette giveaway. I'm, I'm just really excited about it. I have my wheels churning in my mind about what I wanna do for this upcoming month. But again, if you have any suggestions at all, I, I'm taking all suggestions, beauty and non-beauty, because I might even do like a beauty giveaway and a lifestyle giveaway for the month. Because I know like the guys here aren't gonna want the beauty stuff, you know, and there are just some, some people that don't want makeup or they don't want beauty stuff, you know? So let me know what you're thinking, please. I, I'm taking any suggestions. I've actually been writing some down. So anything you guys have to say, you know, I'm always taking it into consideration. But thank you so much for watching tonight. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave us a little thumbs up and a comment below and I will see you tomorrow. Love you.